Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's council meeting being held for Monday, the 28th of November. We'll commence with the opening affirmation and acknowledgement of country. We gather to represent the people of Albury who have entrusted us with this task. May our efforts be blessed with insight, wisdom and common sense. May our personal values give us honesty and courage to serve our community effectively and with respect for all. We'd like to acknowledge the Wiradjuri people as uh, traditional custodians of the land that we meet upon today and pay our respects to the elders past, present and future, for they hold the memories, culture, tradition and hopes of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that contribute to our community. <coughs> This council meeting is being webcast and recorded. By speaking at the council meeting, you agree to being recorded and webcast. Please ensure that if and when you are speaking at this council meeting, that you are respectful to other people and use appropriate language. Albury City accepts no liability for any defamatory or offensive remarks or gestures made during the course of this council meeting. An audio recording will be made for administrative purposes. Item three, conflict of interest declarations received by the chair and disclosure of political donations, Mr. CEO. Thank you, Mayor King. Uh, there are no conflict of interest declarations received uh, for this evening's meeting and no development applications with respect to disclosure of political donations. Thank you, Mayor King. Thank you, Mr. CEO. Item CM4. Apologies. Councillor Betridge. You Mayor King, I'd like to move that Council receive, note and accept the apology of Councillor Bacon, Baker and grant leave of absence for the meeting. Councillor Bowen. I'll second that motion. As it's procedural, happy to put the motion. Yes, Those for? You. Those against? The motion is carried. Thank you, Councillors. Item 4.2, attendance by councillors at a meeting by audiovisual link. Councillor Callaghan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the attendance of Councillor Cameron via audio link Zoom for the meeting be noted. Councillor Bowen. Thank you, Mayor King. I'll second that motion. Sorry about that. Uh, it's procedural. Happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM5, mayoral minute. There is none. CM6, action plans. Councillor Bowen. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to uh, move that the following action plans be received and noted. One, action uh, actions complete uh, for noting only. Two, actions awaiting response for from external parties three actions in progress, and four long-term issues more than three months. Councillor Thurley. Second the motion, Mickey. Councillor Bowen, did you wish to speak to the motion at all? Uh, no, thank you, Mickey. Councillors, any speakers for or against or questions? In that case, happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. Thank you, councillors. CM7, confirmation of minutes of the previous meetings. CM7.1, minutes of the council meeting held on Monday, the 14th of November, 2022 at 6 p.m. Councillor Gluckin. Uh, thank you through you, um, uh, Madam Mayor, um, that the minutes, I move the recommendation as a motion that the minutes of the council meeting held on Monday, 14 November, 2022 at 6 p.m. be confirmed. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Thurley. Second the motion, making. Thank you. Councillor Glacken, as a procedural, happy to put the motion. In that case, councillors, those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM8, reports from community forums. There are none. CM9, notices of motion, notices of rescission. There are none. CM10, presentations and deputations, there are none. CM11, reports or minutes of committees and working parties. 
CM 11.1 minutes of the Companion Animals Advisory Panel meeting held on Wednesday, the 12th of October, 2022. Councillor, wish to move that at all? Councillor Callaghan. Oh, sorry. No, you're right. Uh, I'd like to move that the council receives notes and accepts the minutes and recommendations of the Companion Animals Advisory Panel meeting held on Wednesday, the 12th of October, 2022. And note, the minutes of the advisory committees and working parties may come to council for noting prior to the adoption of the minutes by the relevant committee or working party. This is to ensure timely information to the council should an advisory committee or working party subsequently agree that the minutes should be changed. This will be noted in the next set of minutes. Councillor Edwards. Happy to second the motion in making. Uh, Councillor Thurley, a question. Uh, yes, I've noticed a lot of um, commentary on social media about uh, home, rehoming dogs. I just wondered how many dogs that we presently have at our facility. <clears throat> Mr. Hennan, let me find your. Thank you, Mr. Hennan. Thanks for your question, Councillor Thurley. And through you, Mayor King, I can't give you the exact number of animals. I can certainly find that out for you and take that on notice. But it's not actually full at the moment. There is still capacity, mm -hmm. but I'll get you that number. We can pass it on. Thank you. Thank you. Any other speakers for or against or questions in relation to this, Councillors? Happy to put the motion then. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM12, documents for sealing. There are none. CM13, officers' reports for consideration. CM13.1, Albury Airport Security Screening Contract, number 22-01165. Councillor Glacken. Thank you through you, Mayor King, to move the recommendation as a motion that council accepts the tender from Sydney Night Patrol and Inquiry uh, Company for contract number 22-01165, Albury Airport Security Screening Services for a four-year period with an estimated contract value of $5,502,016, uh, inclusive of GST. Thank you. Councillor Betridge. Through you, Mayor King, happy to second the motion. Councillor Glacken, do you wish to open debate? Um, not debate, simply to highlight a, a couple of factors, and one is that um, we are very fortunate uh, to have a regional airport of the calibre that we have uh, in Albury that services very much our larger uh, regional uh, area. It ensures that we have a good uh, number of aircraft flying in and out, um, so domestic uh, sorry, commercial, uh, but also uh, working aircraft. It provides a facility um, for our hospitals, which is absolutely fantastic and uh, very much an important role of our medical provision here uh, in our region. Uh, and the security services being provided are a significant part of the airport. Uh, it's important that we have those security services. We've been undertaking those, I think it's 15 years now, um, from memory. Um, <clears throat> and um, it's progressed over a number of iterations as to uh, what that security screening is, uh, but it benefits our community. Uh, it ensures the safety and integrity of our facility as well. Uh, so I'd like to move the recommendation um, and happy for any councillors who might have any questions. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor Glacken. Any other speakers for or against? Happy to put the motion. Councillors, those for? Those against? The motion is carried. Thank you, councillors. CM 13.2 Earthworks and Plant Hire Panel Contract Number 22-01738. Councillor Glacken. Uh, thank you. I'm just finding the right report. And sorry, I've got a bit of a hay fever thing happening over here. <clears throat> Uh, so I'll, through you, Mayor King, to move the recommendation as a motion that council accept the following uh, tenders for the schedule of rates for panel contract number 22-01738, earthworks and plant hire estimated at $4.4 million, including GST, over a three-year period commencing 1 January 2023. Uh, the uh, 
suppliers are Hutchinson Civil Proprietary Limited, Hume Hire, Fudge Earthworks Proprietary Limited, Walsh Wodonga Proprietary Limited, and AP Delaney and Co. Councillor Thurley. Second the motion making. Councillor Glacken, do you wish to speak to the motion? Uh, very briefly, this is um, an initiative of, of council um, a number of um, contracts ago where uh, we look at an, uh, the opportunity of a number of suppliers being able to provide um, directly to Albury City and using a panel um, method of, of provision of services. Um, and it means that it sheds the load within our um, uh, commercial uh, facilities around the, the region, uh, but it also means that Albury City has an on-demand um, uh, opportunity with each of those areas or with each of the providers. So it's a good system and it means that Albury City can uh, follow through with the provision of services and infrastructure. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor Glack. And Speaker 4, Councillor Callaghan. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mayor King. Um, I'll be endorsing this this evening, but I'd also like to highlight that the five people that have um, got the contracts are all local providers and I think that's something really important and you know there was more local providers that um, were part of the pool but I'm very glad to see it go to five very capable and high caliber uh, local companies. Thank you Councillor Callaghan. Councillor Glacken do you wish to sum up or happy to put the motion? Uh, that is fine thank you yes. Councillors those four those against the motion is carried thanks Councillors. CM 13.3 September quarter budget review. Councillor Thurley. I thank you, Mayor King. I move that Council receives and adopts the revised, revised budget estimates for the 2022-23 financial year. Councillor Betridge. Thank you, Mayor King. Happy to second. Councillor Thurley, do you wish to speak to the motion? I thank you, Mayor King. Yes, I do. Um, basically, we've got, uh, along with a number of New South Wales councils, we're showing some um, difficulties here with our budget. We have a, an operating deficit in the general fund of about $11 million. Um, I note that other councils such as Hornsby, Tamworth, Federation have all applied for special variation of rates. And I think in Hornsby's case, they said uh, to ensure it meets our legislated obligation to manage our budgets responsibly. So I know that councils are under significant pressure. And at some stage, I'm sure I'll be asking um, Mr. Ferris the uh, likely cost of road repairs after the horrendous season we've just had. They must be beyond what we had budgeted for. But there are a number of other things that I think we need to take into account. And um, the author's report said it is acknowledged that improvements will be required over time for the general fund to achieve a sustainable operating result. And we need to know at some stage what they are. Uh, I've um, at the ARIC meeting, a question was raised, are we doing things that we shouldn't be doing or are we doing things that we should only be partly doing? And I think we need to ask those questions of everything we do, given the tight budgetary situation. I also note a number of other things, overdue rates and charges, two and a half million dollars. Overdue debts, 61 to 90 days, 250,000. 31 to 60 days, half a million dollars. So there are opportunities to get um, a bit tight with people. And uh, we, we obviously need to do it in a sensitive way, given that most of our community will also be struggling with financial issues. But we, we have to look at the um, ongoing um, sustainability of this council and do whatever's required. And I look forward to hearing more as we go towards preparing our new budget, what sort of things we'll be considering. Um, generally speaking, um, we've, we've done pretty well, but there are big challenges there that I see in these numbers. And we're not the only council in New South Wales. I've got to say the IPART rate peg at 0.7% doesn't do us a damn thing. It, it really shackles um, councils. It's not even allowing us to meet the rising costs of the services and the things we do. So I know we've put in submissions about that, and I hope the government um, takes note of that. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor Thurley. Question, Councillor Glacken. Yes, through you, Madam Mayor, as the Chair. Um, <clears throat> Councillor Thurley raised a couple of very valid points, um, and I'd like to ask through you to the most relevant member of staff for some further information. 
Uh, the first of which is about the 0.7% um, rate uh, increase that uh, CPI rate that um, has been quoted. Uh, or sorry, I should say the, um, yeah, the, the IPART rate uh, that we're allowed to take our rates up. My understanding is that that has actually um, been changed. Um, if we could get some clarification on that for everyone's benefit. Um, but also the other um, matter that I um, agree with uh, Councillor Thurley, and that is uh, in raising uh, in this area, and that is with the um, flood damage um, and uh, what that value or cost will be to Albury City Council. Now, my understanding is that we have been declared uh, or one of the uh, local government areas within the state that have been declared uh, a disaster area with reference to the floods. Um, how will that um, benefit Albury City? To what degree will that benefit Albury City? And to what cost will we have, well, what costs will we have to incur outside of that benefit uh, for uh, the flood damage? Uh, and therefore, what, uh, what effect will that have on our bottom line carrying forward? Not a problem. Mr. Finland Mason for the first question. Thanks. Thank you. Through you, Mayor King. So in terms of uh, the current financial year, IPART initially used their methodology to assess what the rate peg should be for this financial year, which was 0.7%. Um, obviously, there was concern by the sector of such a low rate when inflation was on the rise. Um, so through um, advocacy and consultation, there was an additional special variation process that was enabled, which is outside the normal process and was based upon what existing um, uh, increases were built into council's long-term financial plan. For, so for us, it was a 2% increase. And so we went to the community with that proposed 2% increase, um, which was endorsed by council and endorsed by IPART. So for the current year, it was a 2% rate increase as opposed to the 0.7% that IPART started with. Um, however, noting that was based on um, projections prior to the current environment where with inflation in the order of 6% and, and growing. And the second part of the question, Mr. CEO? Uh, through to Mr. Ferris. This is, relates to the um, natural disaster declaration and the, the likely um, impact and re reimbursement potential for the work. Yeah, Mr. Ferris. Yeah, through you, Mayor King. Um, as everybody's aware, we're certainly seeing uh, deterioration of our road network and our drain network with the continual um, wet weather we've had. Um, as part of the September review, we've reallocated an extra $200,000 towards road repairs um, within our budget. Um, that allows for some of our internal resources to be um, transferred across to that activity and focus on that activity. The natural um, declaration um, does provide some um, opportunities to recover some of our costs and we'll work through that process over the coming months and make the appropriate claims when, um, when we've got some of those figures together. But there is that opportunity to recover some of the costs, not all. Councillor Glacken, any follow-ups? No, that's, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> any other speakers for or against councillors? Councillor Thurley, do you wish to sum up? Oh, Thank you. No problem. In that case, we'll put the motion. Those for, those against, the motion is carried. CM 13.4, Albury City Investment Procedure Amendment, Public Exhibition Results. Councillor Thurley. Thank you, Mayor King. I move that Council A acknowledges the submissions received as part of the public exhibition of Albury City's draft revised investment procedure and B adopts the publicly exhibited, exhibited draft revised investment procedure. Councillor Bowen. Thank you, Mayor King. Happy to uh, second that motion. Councillor Thurley, do you wish to speak to the motion? Uh, just to note that we did receive a number of, a couple of submissions and uh, their views have been taken into account. I think we have a uh, totally satisfactory investment policy now. Any other speakers for or against? If not, Council Thurley, happy for us to put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. Thank you, councillors. 
Item CM 13.5, Albury Citywide Social Infrastructure Strategy, Project Scope and Stakeholder Engagement Plan. Councillor Callaghan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the Council endorses the Social Infrastructure Strategy Project Scope, Approach and Stakeholder Engagement Plan for developing an Albury Social Infrastructure Strategy. Thank you. Councillor Glacken. Happy to second. Councillor Kellogg, hand, do you wish to speak to the motion at all? No, thank you, Mickey. Any speakers for or against? In that case, happy to put the motion. Those for, those against, the motion is carried. Thank you, councillors. CM 13.6, council meeting schedule for 2023. Councillor Glacken. Thank you, Mickey. Through you to move the recommendation as a motion that council uh, one, Adopt the draft council meeting schedule for 2023 and two, cancel the second council meeting in December 2022. Sorry, schedule 2023, I do apologise. And council, cancel the second council meeting in December 2022 and 2023 as it falls within the public holiday period. Thank you. Councillor Betridge. You, Mayor King, happy to second the motion. Given its procedural, you're happy to put the motion. Councillors, those for, those against? The motion is carried. Thank you. Item 13.7, draft personally worn surveillance device policy. Councillor Thurley. I think you're making, I move that council adopt the draft personally worn surveillance policy and the adopted policy is placed on council's internal policy register. Councillor Callaghan. Happy to second the motion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Councillor Thurley, do you wish to speak to the motion at all? I'll just one sentence base where in some ways I think it's rather sad that we have to have our public officers wearing um, devices to record and photograph encounters with people but it seems to be the way of the world so um, here we go. If there are no speakers for or against happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM 13.8, Draft Multicultural Plan 2023 to 2028. Councillor Edwards. Uh, thank you, Making. I move that Council A endorse the Draft Multicultural Plan and places the draft plan on public exhibition for a period of 56 days. B, in the event of no submissions received during the public exhibition period, adopts the Draft Multicultural Plan. And C, allocates $50,000 to enable the implementation of the proposed review and translation of important council documents in language and the development and rollout of the campaign, Racism, It Stops With Me, and makes an adjustment to the next quarterly budget review to reflect the investment. Councillor Betridge. You, Mayor King, happy to second the motion. Councillor Edwards, do you wish to speak to the motion? Uh, yes, I just wanted to thank Aubrey City staff for developing this comprehensive draft plan uh, that will ensure our city is a welcoming place now and into the future. I'm particularly excited about Council joining Welcoming Cities, um, which, is a net, which is a network that sets a national standard for cultural diversity and inclusion policy and practice in local government. I also look forward to the establishment of the Multicultural Advisory Committee and the commitment of this funding to the Racism It Stops With Me campaign. Thank you. Speaker for Councillor Thurley. Thank you, Mayor King. After attending the citizenship ceremony today, where I think we had 12 different countries represented, there is no doubt that this is a multicultural city, um, an enormous population of Bhutanese people, but Congolese um, and people from many, many parts of the world. And they seem to integrate beautifully into this community. They put on their own cultural events to which we were invited. It's just fantastic. Thank you, Councillor Thurley. Any other speakers for or against? Councillor Edwards, do you wish to sum up? I oh, know, thank you, Mickey. Happy to put the motion in that case. Councillors, those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM 13.9, the draft two cities, one community strategic plan. Councillor Betteridge. You three, making. I'd like to move that. A, Council endorsed the draft Two Cities, One Community strategic, strategic Plan and B, the draft Two Cities, One Community Strategic Plan is placed on public exhibition for 56 days and C, if no submissions are received during the public exhibition period, the draft Two Cities, One Community, strate, community Strategy is adopted as the final version. Councillor Glacken. 
I'm very happy to second that. Councillor Betridge, do you wish to speak to the motion? Just briefly, thank you. It'll be good to see this document go out for 50, 56 days of consultation. And if no submissions are received, I'm very happy for it to go forward as it is. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Glacken, speaking for. And thank you very much for the indulgence um, to be able to uh, speak in support of this. Uh, and I think um, Councillor Cameron is also indicating so. Uh, I <clears throat> am very aware that uh, we, as really one community, the two cities, uh, need to work together. And um, in the time on uh, my time on council, <clears throat> the two cities have collaborated um, um, more publicly. Uh, there has always been some collaboration uh, between the two councils um, for decades, uh, but it's important that we show our community that, that uh, or we continue to show our community that we work together. It is to the benefit of both communities uh, to work together to achieve what our communities uh, need, uh, both individually but also uh, together. So there are some uh, areas where we will strive to have <clears throat> one facility and there are other areas uh, where we strive to have multiple facilities and services uh, to meet the needs of all of both of the communities but also our regional community as well and um, as all councillors around the table would be aware I on a regular basis um, raise the fact that we as two cities do service our regional community uh, and they are very much a part of what we are, who we are and what we have and what we want to achieve for our communities. We have so much strength in our regional community, just as we have greater strength with our two communities or our two cities working together as one community. Uh, so I absolutely endorse uh, us continuing to work uh, for the betterment of both cities and our regional community. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Glacken. Speaker four, Councillor Cameron. Thank you, Mayor King. I don't think anyone can deny that uh, our two cities are inextricably intermeshed, both economically and socially. It's common for people to move back and forwards through the course of their life if they stay local and live in our other city without a second thought. Many people, of course, live in one city and work in the other, and it would be the height of folly for us not to continue with this sort of cooperation in a formal sense and to encourage everybody in, on both sides of the, of the border involved in local government, whether staff or elected councillors, to embrace the concept. It is a, uh, something that we saw in lobbying for the regional deal that is of immense practical benefit when dealing with other tiers of government, and it's something that sadly over the years uh, can occur in fits and starts, it ebbs and throughout the flows, and it falls to us to make sure that it flows rather than ebbs. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cameron. If there are no other speakers for or against, Councillor Betridge, do you wish to sum up? Uh, no, thank you. Nick. Happy to put the motion. Councillors, those for, those against? The motion is carried. Thanks, Councillors. CM14, officers reports for noting. CM14.1, operational plan, quarterly progress report, September 2022. Councillor Glacken. Thank you. Through you, Madam Mayor, to move the recommendation as a motion that council receives and notes the operational plan progress report for September 2022. Thank you. Councillor Edwards. Happy to second the motion making. Councillor Glacken, do you wish to speak to the motion? Happy. Thank you. And if there are no other speakers for or against, in that case, we'll put the motion. Those for, those against, the motion is carried. CM 14.2, draft on-site sewage management plan. Councillor Thurley. Thank you, Mayor King. I'm the council receives a note the on-site sewer management plan. Councillor Edwards. Happy to second the motion making. As it's procedural, do you wish to put the motion or speak to it, Councillor Thurley? Is there a speaker for Councillor Glacken? Have I read that right? Sorry, thank you, councillors. In that case, we'll put the motion. Those for, those against, the motion is carried. Thank you. CM 14.3, investment balances, October 2022. Councillor Edwards. 
Thank you, May King. I move that Council receives and notes the investment balances report for the month of October 2022. Councillor Betridge. Through you, May King. Happy to second the motion. Thank you. Councillor Edwards, do you wish to speak to it? No, thank you. Any speakers for or against? If not, happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM 14.4, Albury City 2021-2022 Annual Report. Councillor Callaghan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the Council receives and notes Albury City's 2021 to 2022 Annual Report that is to be submitted to the Minister for Local Government by the 30th of November 2022. Councillor Bittridge. Mayor King, happy to second that motion. Thank you. Councillor Callaghan, do you wish to speak to the motion? No, thank you, Making. Any speakers for or against councillors? Happy to put the motion in that case? Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM 14.5, Albury City 2021-2022, Audited Financial Statements and Auditor Reports. Councillor Thurley. Thank you, Mayor King. I move that Council receives and notes Albury City's audited 2021 22 financial statements and associated auditors' reports issued by the New South Wales Audit Office. Councillor Glacken. I'm very happy to second Councillor Thurley's recommendation as a motion. Councillor Thurley, do you wish to speak to the motion? Just a couple of things, and, and in, in a sense, they follow on from the earlier um, September quarterly budget review. Uh, we received an unqualified audit. However, the auditors did note that one of the government ratios that we were required or should meet, we did not. That was the operating performance ratio. And this is the second year in a row that we haven't met it, although this year there was an improvement on last year's number. So, and we met all other benchmarks. Um, I guess the only other point I wanted to, um, I, I don't know whether other councillors noted that in uh, the auditors um, report, the auditors specifically said, in preparing the financial statements, the councillors are responsible for assessing the council's ability to continue as a going concern, disclosing as, applic as applicable matters relating to a going concern. So um, we are responsible in the eyes of the auditor, and uh, that's partly the reason why I was asking those questions. Um, we, we need to get those matters cleared up. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Furley. Any speakers for or against? Happy to put the motion or sum up, Councillor Furley? Put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. Thank you. CM 14.6, Albury City Corporate Success Pillars Quarterly Update. Councillor Callaghan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the Council receives and notes the Albury City Corporate Success Pillar Quarterly Update, September 2022. Councillor Edwards. Happy to second the motion, Mayor King. Councillor Callaghan, did you wish to speak to the motion at all? No, thank you, Mayor King. Thank you. Any other, any speakers for or against? If not, happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. Thank you, Councillors. CM15, delegates reports for noting, there are none. CM16, notice of urgent business. There is none. CM17, confidential matters, there are none. I declare the meeting closed at 6.34. Thank you, councillors. Good evening, everyone. 